So another thing you can do with the six minor is do the reverse. So you can start the verse with the six minor chord and use that sort of as a home base to come back to. And then when you get to the chorus, you can switch it to all major chords. Uh, it's like we have in this song, so style by Taylor Swift. So here in this song, it starts with the minor, and then it keeps coming back and forth. It goes six minor four, six minor four, six minor four, and then it transitions into, uh, with that four cadence chord, into the chorus with the one major four, one major four. See that? So we go from six minor four, six minor four, and in the chorus, we're doing one major four, one major four. So it really creates that contrast, um, and you can really hear it pop. It makes the chorus pop. So let's hear it. So six. Four. Six. So as you can see there, you could really feel it when it hit the chorus, that that change, all of a sudden that brightness. Uh, and that's a cool tactic to use if you really want to really emphasize the chorus and create this bright feeling uh, coming out of that those minor sounds. And also if you notice in the chorus, they do have a minor chord. They have the sixth minor uh, in the second to last chord. And in a way that's kind of cool. So it's a stylistic thing. Um, Maybe they decided they like that because, you know, they're ha all of a sudden the chorus is major, it's clearly major, and then just to keep it a little bit interesting, uh, they switch out one of the one chords uh, for the six minor instead, uh, just to give it that little bit of uh, that minor sound uh, that, you know, the listener is deprived of now for, you know, six chords. Um, so th that's how you should think of it, you know, depriving... Uh, people of major sounds or minor sounds suddenly bringing it in uh, to create surprise and create energy. Uh, this is how you can really use the six minor chord to your advantage and uh, use it as, you know, just another color in your palette uh, when you're creating these songs. But okay, so that's it for this lecture. I'll see you in the next one.